Welcome to the new sound of online radio. Welcome to the sound of Universal Broadcasting Network. Yes. You make me feel like I've been locked out of heaven. A mix of today's hits and hard to find favorites. Combined with the most entertaining and intriguing talk anywhere. This is your sound. This is the sound of Universal Broadcasting Network at UBNRadio.com. Live from Sunset Gower Studios, The Amazing Hour, with Joanne O'Brien and Sabrina Johnson. There's a power here within me, there's a strength that's deep inside. If I'm willing to be willing, the field is open wide. And I know I have the courage, so I push my fears aside and allow the of truth be heard from every mountain high. I am amazing, I am amazing, there's nothing I can't do. I am amazing, I am amazing, and you're amazing too. We share a We celebrate everyday superstars, and we are coming to you live from the UBN Radio Network here at Sunset Gower Studios in the heart of Hollywood. I'm Joanne O'Brien. And I'm Sabrina Johnson. And we are delighted that you are here listening and being with us tonight, because we've got lots of really great stuff in store. So, Sabrina, you have had an incredible week. I did. Tell us, tell us, tell us. I want to know all about it. I just have to say that I have had an incredible week up until just, you know, today, (laughs) including today. And, you know, we called it the amazing highlight, but I said there's amazing moments. And one of them actually. (laughs) Amidst chaos? Is that where you're going with this? Actually, in the. Yes, and also, but amazing moments. And one of them did happen with our guest, which our guest will not be introduced until I tell one of my many amazing moments was uh, I went to uh, Barrie, Massachusetts, which is uh, about an hour and a half somewhere it's outside of Boston and uh it's actually home of the uh of the of the insight meditation um center and so when you enter that campus I got lost on there uh, I was told to step aside because you don't talk on there you just everything silent meditation so it was around the I corner. wouldn't last they yeah. would send me to the principal's no, office did you know it's called noble silence <laughs> so the noble silence so but around the corner is where we did the workshop on self-compassion mindfulness self-compassion and it's a whole new meditation that is a meditation movement and it's mindfulness meditation but it's self-compassion and it was just it was uh, it was mind-blowing and uh I absolutely loved it and you'll hear a lot more about it as I how many days were you there I was there for uh six days no seven days because I stayed also how was the weather it was beautiful and I stayed at an alpaca farm you stayed at an alpaca alpaca farm farm. did you pet the alpacas I pet the alpacas and the alpacas just are amazing they did they spit at you no because they're not used to burden they're the kind cousins oh okay they're the kind cousins they're the kind cousins cousins. and then when they walk when they walk around they always walk no, uh, tail to tail, uh, nose to tail, just like they're following each other because they learn to do that up in the mountains. So they do that on the pathways. So it's just like they follow each other. Wow. And they are absolutely, and then I got some cool yarn. And yeah, Terry, if you're listening, I sent you an email about knitting because I'm a good Oh, so knitter. you're going to start knitting from this? Yeah, well, just a project. So, like, that. did you meet the alpaca that you got the yarn yes, from? Yes. Okay, that's. Really cool. Does, yes. the, does he have a name? Sammy. Sammy. So you're going to make a Sammy scarf or a Sammy make a shawl? Sammy hat. Sammy which hat. Which you're going to hear about. So it was wonderful. It was like I was staying for the for the night. Like you remember the Bob Newberry show when they had that that uh, 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 bed and breakfast up in the country. I don't know if you remember that. Bob Newhart, you mean? Bob Newhart. Okay. Bob yeah, Newhart. you said Bob Newberry. Uh, but, but. <laughs> I just want to point that out. You said Bob Newberry, but, so it's only the top of the hour, but, and you've already started. I've already started. But Bob Newhart, when they had I'm the, sure the, Bob Newberry <laughs> wanted to have a show, and Bob Newhart 
beat him out. So, yes, yeah, so it was, if you remember his show, The Bed and Breakfast, it was just like that. I do remember even, that show. Even the guy in the coveralls. Isn't that, weren't, wasn't there Larry and his other brother Larry? Yes. Or Daryl and his other brother yes. Daryl. I think so it was Darryl, a bunch of Daryls, yeah. So they were, so it was like that. And then Look, the, we're the, already digressing. And it was beautiful foliage. However you say that, but beautiful foliage, fo- foliage, okay. foliage. Yeah, foliage. I, I realized I wasn't saying that right when I tried to spell it, but it's beautiful and um, it's just gorgeous. And I'm glad to be back as well. And here we are. Yay! And I had another amazing moment watching you at your beautiful concert. Oh, thank you. But I just have to tell you, it was so sweet because I went by myself and two gals that just were there. They're big Broadway fans. They just picked up the tab for my dinner, which was That's all the so more nice. sweet. I just straight. That's up. the way it's supposed to be. People yeah. just, you know, I didn't even have to nice sing for things. my dinner. <laughs> you didn't have to I sing. Didn't for, have I to was sing singing for, for your dinner. dinner. I hope yeah. you saved me your dessert. Yeah. You brought it in tonight. That was so nice. That was my. I had a lot of amazing highlights. Um, last night was one of them. Uh, I was at Vitello's doing a fundraiser for the Actors Fund, and it was an evening of Stephen Schwartz music, which. I was thinking about that today, and I thought, and, and I know this would never happen, but if someone said you could only sing one composer's music, whose music would it be? I think I'd pick Stephen Schwartz. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it was it was a great evening, so much good music, and I was fortunate to get to sing my two favorite Stephen Schwartz songs, which are Meadowlark and Chasson. And, um, it was Meadowlark extra- is more like a little operetta. It's... <laughs> It's beautiful. It's great. I do a workshop on the metaphysics of that song. And and every artist was so gifted, so talented. And they all brought their own special spirit to the... It was a sold-out event. We raised money for the Actors Fund. And the MC um, was a fellow co fellow Yeah, host. the MC for the night yes. has her show. What's her name Animal her Magnetism. Animal Carol Magnetism. And so go watch Animal Small Magnetism. World. She was... I mean, you know, who knows? God, you meet people everywhere. But um, so it was an incredible evening. But then... Oh, God. I'm so excited. Kurt, get that photo ready. So as I was leaving... <laughs> I'm so I I I'm, I was leaving and um, my friend Robin Spangler, who's another cabaret diva and just an extraordinary performer, she I was saying goodbye to her and she was talking to a group of people at this table and of course you know I'm you know Miss Networker I'm like hi I'm Joanna O'Brien and Robin looks at me and goes Joanne this is Sheila E and I was like get out of town because I didn't recognize her because she was just being cash not up on stage and. And we got to hang out and chat for a while, and it was an extraordinary moment because she's such an icon, and she's such an incredible spirit. And um, so I got to meet Sheila E., and we got a picture of Robin and Sheila E. and I up there, and and she looks like she's going to be taking over booking Vitello's, which means... Sheila E. is? Yes! (laughs) So you'll be at Vitello's every night. No, I will not be there, but I will be in the audience every night. Yeah. So And you might be upstage a few nights. That I would do that yeah. in a heartbeat. So I'm sure she's very familiar with Meadowlark. N- I don't know about that. I, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But um, so that was a really cool event. And then um, let's see. Uh, oh, I was at an anti-aging conference all week, which is why I look so <laughs> fabulously refreshed and young. <gasps> And Lord knows if you want to ask us about anti-aging, <laughs> I can't talk about it on the air because I'll get in trouble, but you can email us. Or and you ask can join our party this Sabrina Saturday. Sabrina and I, why we look so fabulously young. Or join our party this Saturday. We would love to share. Or come to our party this Saturday. Yes. Oh, and I'm having a Stella and Dot party too. Oh, so you I'm going to, that I can talk about because I'm, you when know. When are you not, having that? November 22nd. So oh, I have, okay. I, you know, I'll. I'll post it, but okay. you can shop online, okay. and you can shop online until Friday and get fifty percent. Okay, we are really digressing here with yes. stuff. Yes, but you can um, uh, get fifty percent off if you spend fifty dollars or less. Okay, that's enough about that. Okay. okay, so here's the really important thing that we want to talk about. So, um, well, two things. First, first, the this week I always talk about live happy. We love live happy. This week, Monday through Friday, go to my live happy or just livehappy.com and you can sign up for the webinar called um, Wake Up Happy. And um, every morning at 7:30, there'll be a happiness um, expert professional, somebody who is all about the the whole positive movement um, speaking. And they're extraordinary. Tell uh, webinars, and um, I highly recommend it. So go there and um, tell them the, the the amazing hour sent you. And then, um, so then, last before we bring on our guest, because we're so excited about our guest, um, we need sponsorship. 
So if you like the show, we will take your cash to make the show continue to happen. Um, if you and have, advertise for and, you. And we will advertise for you. You can sponsor one show. You can sponsor many shows. You can sponsor a portion of the show. But um, we love it. It's our 23rd episode. And um, we, we're we probably going to have to go on hiatus for December, January, and February. So if you would like for that to not happen, and we don't want it to happen because we love coming to you with all our fabulous guests, um, go to our website, shoot us an email, and we will talk with you about what we can do to make that happen. Yes. What do you think? I, we definitely will. And we just... Uh, you know, say to you, whatever you have to offer, we are more than grateful. We're grateful that we've had this opportunity and we're grateful that we know we're going to have more opportunities and we're so grateful for every guest and we're grateful for the feedback we get that people yeah. really, we really love, love doing love the this. show and we love celebrating the human spirit and celebrating people and we learn from everyone. I mean, it really is quite an education that we get. Do you know what I've really guests... learned? I just have to tell you one thing I've learned is there's nobody that I know that doesn't know someone who is absolutely amazing. Uh, that's the truth. Every, that's the one thing. Everybody I knows someone that's amazing. Yes. You could interview yes. anyone and go, can <laughs> you give us five people that you think are amazing? And it would take two seconds exactly. to start listing them off. Because, Which I love. Yeah. It's yeah. just this infectious amazing enthusiasm and what do we always say if you knew who you really were you would be starstruck yes and um we did not make that up no. but um victoria I can't moran friend. oh victoria moran okay i'm okay, gonna trust so that you got that name right i did all right on that note sabrina yes. so we have an another amazing amazing superstar today and she actually i just feel so blessed she contacted us and it's like oh my god this was like so amazing so uh, first of all, uh, she has a movie that she co-produced that is showing this starting November 1st. Uh, Friday. Friday, October, October 30. 31st at the Newark Theater here in Los Angeles, the Lemley Royal. Royal. Lemley Royal. Ro Lemley Royal, Royal Theater here in Los Angeles, not the Newark. So the Lemley Royal Theater, and they have regular showings, and uh, she'll tell you more about that. But it also has been shown all over, getting praise and reviews just amazing reviews and it's called walking the camino six ways to santiago and it's about the camino de santiago in spain that is the 500 mile journey that pilgrims have been making for centuries and this is the journey that uh, our guest annie o'neill took as uh one of the uh six people who go to Santiago who's featured in the movie mm -hmm. and also she co-produced the movie and with that when she came back she wrote this beautiful book and you can see how small it is it's called Everyday Camino with Annie our picture of it shows it in a pocket so you can see you take it in a pocket and it's beautiful readings you can read all 40 days while you're traveling Plus, she has a beautiful CD of the Agape Choir singing these beautiful inspirational songs that come with the book. So all this, or it doesn't come with the book, but anyways, it's part of the book. And she'll explain more about that. So we just have this wonderful, wonderful, amazing superstar, Annie O'Neill. Annie O'Neill! I know. You didn't know there's an audience right there. They're invisible. They're a bunch of orbs that speak. Actually, that's surprising. they really are. Actually, people I think in this for, room, yeah. I, I think for every superstar, that's what goes on in their head. It's true. <laughs> well, it goes on in my head all the time. You're Welcome. A superstar. Thank We're you so, so much. So excited you're here. Yeah, thank thank you. you. I'm very excited to be here. What a wonderful program. What a wonderful gift you guys give. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, okay. Tell us how it started that you were attracted to walking the Camino. Camino. What was well, the first? I um I read a book. I I'm an avid reader. I, I would read a book called Women Who Read Too Much. I, I would read that You should book. write that book. We've just given you and, another assignment. <laughs> Good, one more Because you don't have enough things to do. And I found this book in my house. To this day, I don't know where it was from, but it was about the Camino. It was written by Shirley MacLaine. And I picked it up, and I started to read it, and I just, I, I was smitten by the Camino. I just couldn't get over how beautiful it sounded and how wonderful and perfect and how much I'd like to do it. But even in, in equal part, I thought, well, I'll, I'll never be able to do that because I actually have a steel plate in my leg from an accident. And um, I have a husband and a job and a life. And, you know, six weeks is a long, long time to take off. It'll just never work out. But I, 
I felt in my heart after I finished the book, I was like pining for the Camino. I was pining for this this idea because I had never even heard of it before that. But then, of course, I went online and I started learning about it. And I couldn't get it out of my thoughts and out of my heart. And out of the blue, my old friend, Lydia B. Smith, who is a director, she's a um, wonderful filmmaker, she called me up around the end of the summer, September, and she said, have you ever heard of the Camino de Santiago? It's always how it unfolds. I love and that. I said, I love yes, that. I love the Camino. And she told me that at the exact same time I had been reading that book, she had been walking the Camino. Wow. So wow. I had been reading what she was experiencing, oh. you know, a part of what she was experiencing. And she had decided to make a film about the Camino de Santiago, to make a documentary film. And she knew, because she had walked the Camino, she knew that the Camino would provide. The Camino would provide the pilgrims that would be, become the subjects of the film. Mm. But she wanted to make sure she had one person she could film the first day you know, in France. So that I became Pilgrim Zero. <laughs> I became that pilgrim that she knew she had going over. And then the other pilgrims were uh, assembled and, and really came on as you, were, as you were walking the path. As I was walking the path, the path, as Lydia was walking the path, as our producers were walking the, the, the way, um, they, the Camino provided them. They were just people who were walking the Camino. Wow. And Lydia would walk a couple hours in the morning and see who she kind of fell in step with. And if it was someone that she felt there was a real connection and that they, they would be willing, you know, that they had an interesting story that they'd be willing to share, she would then say, well, actually, I'm a documentary filmmaker and we're making a documentary. Would you like to be part of it? And so Lydia would do that, and our senior producer, Teresa Tolini, would do that, and Sally Bentley, our producer, would do that. And they found amazing people. You want to talk about amazing people. They found amazing God, we people. Could, we could dedicate a month to people who walked the Camino. Yes. Wouldn't that be interesting? Yes, Maybe because, we should do that, like, be cool. April. Or when, be so when's cool. Easter, you know? Or, yeah. Because, but that's a like very deep spiritual it time is. when there's Easter and all the other holidays and anyway I digress yeah. yeah yeah and you know it really is the kind of thing where now you know when I first read about the Camino and started asking people it was 2009 and not many Americans had heard about it and now when you talk about it people are like oh yeah my my brother told me about that or oh yeah my dentist <laughs> told me about that that they're gonna do it next year and Oh, you know, everybody seems to know somebody. Well, the movie The Way, really. Yes. Was, uh, you know, Amelia Estevez, that was a great thing. And, yes. Um, Martin Sheen. Martin mm -hmm. Sheen. Now, I was not aware. Oh, someone's on the phone? Oh, oh. wait, we have a caller. We have oh. a caller. Why? This is our sponsor. <laughs> well, someone's calling into the show. Are you, uh, hi, who's there? Hi, this is uh, Annie O'Neill's husband. Oh, <laughs> I love this. Get I out love of town. this. That hi. is so sweet. So sweet. Did she forget no, to no. like take the trash out or something, <laughs> or did you have something? <laughs> no, we're um, so excited you're calling. I'm listening to the show. It's it's great, and but I'd really like to see all of her face. I want her to take that hat off. Oh, oh. <laughs> so funny! You are such a good man. That is so funny. Okay, I love you have to that. take your hat off. <sighs> yeah, because we get, no. Honestly, honestly, your husband's he's request. he's looking he's out right. for you. Oh. He's looking at me. You gotta take your headphones. All of that beauty. Oh. We're having a costume. Oh, I love that's that. That's really sweet. See, now that's an amazing oh, husband. That's that a great husband. husband. Yes, and You're your hair looks fine. Your bangs Thank are darling. You. You're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Do you approve? Can you see her now? Is that better? Well, uh, I'm not cut up. My my feet is a little slow. So. Oh, okay. okay. But I, right. I always approve of her. So. <laughs> okay. Well, can I just mention how amazing this is because. My husband is a Giants fan, oh and the World God. Series yes. is on yes. right yes. now, correct? Oh, Which I had no idea it was even <laughs> yeah. World Series season. Yeah. So, honey, do you have good news for me? Uh, yes, you're, you're on, and I, I oh. get to watch you. Oh, oh that, that is great. Wow. I, <laughs> What's your husband's name? His name is Quint. Quint, thank you so much. Did you have any other... Um, <laughs> 
Any other observations yeah. about the show you'd like Any to? Any other to, amazing to... fashion tips? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm loving it so far. So thank oh. you so much. Thank you Great. so okay, much. I'm, I'm going to go back to enjoying the show. Okay, <laughs> bye, Quint. Okay, well, bye, bye. bye, bye. See, there you go. He just saved you. So, All right. So talking oh, about your husband, how long have you been married that you were able to take that's something to take a, a huge chunk of time and yes well I really am married to an amazing man and I have an amazing husband and when he heard about this he just said go go oh, do this do great. this um, and we were married he I'm sure if he's listening now he's laughing because numbers are not really my thing but I think we just had our 13th wedding anniversary. Wow. Yay, and you're not allowed to call back in, Quinn. <laughs> you can get in That's the chat enough. room and tell Kurt back there, okay? <laughs> but, um, you know, which I think for L.A. is like silver and anniversary, so this, right? And, and has he walked any of the Camino? <laughs> another call. Oh, my God. Oh my this God. is our other sponsor. Okay, we're going to take another. Well, this never happens, Annie. This so this is, is why sponsor. we're answering calls. Okay. okay, who's there? If it's Quint, we're hanging up on you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Who's Hello? calling in? This is Patricia Barboni. Hi, Hi Patricia. Hi, Patricia. My goodness. This is, did, did, I love that people are calling in on well, the show, and we're not even that call in time. Part. Patricia, did you have something you wanted to ask Annie? Well, I wanted to say a <clears throat> shout out to Annie. Oh, Do you gosh. know Patricia Barboni? I. I hold, on, hold on a second, because I'm, I'm watching and I'm not sure when I can talk. You need to turn your your sound down and just talk to us. There you go. Okay, there you go. Turn your sound down and just talk to us. I feel See, like we're, okay. Okay. I feel like we're like on the Ellen show. We're like on the Ellen. Hold on, hold this on, because I don't Ellen. know how to. Because Annie, no one ever calls this in. Happens to Ellen and now we have time. people okay. calling in when they're not okay, supposed well, to. Okay, well here's the here's the thing that okay. Joanne may or may not know is that um, I walked the Camino in 2001 and am a sponsor and contributor to um, Lydia oh, Smith's committed. documentary. Oh, yeah. And oh, it's adore nice. I'm going to cry. And it's oh. just such a treat that this is the first time I've been home early enough to watch The Amazing Hour. Yay. And woo-hoo, here's Annie. Yay, <laughs> Yay Patricia. <laughs> Oh, Patricia, thank you so much. You know, we we made this this film. Um, we made this. Okay, film. Patricia, you have to turn <laughs> your sound down. You must turn your sound down like now. On the Ellen Show, she just okay. has to go all the time. Can Crazy. You <laughs> yeah, just can, turn, can you hear me now? Yeah, just as long as your your sound is not on because okay. it's coming through the speakers. So, um, so real, so real quick, and of course, I'm such a Camino fan, and. When I tell Joanne that it's part of my why, she'll know what I mean, um, because I have had the blessed experience of volunteering as an hospitalera at oh. uh, Granon oh. and um, at El Nate, oh. and uh, with my why, hopefully more to come. Wow. Oh, Patricia, I'm so glad you Thank called you. in. That's Thank you beautiful. All right. And Patricia, this Thank is your you film. To all this of really you is. all. And Annie, just um, am so excited about your book. And oh, uh, that's on my list. Well, so I, I have hope, a good night, you guys. Thank you. And I hope I'll see you at the, um, at the Royale Theater in West L.A. Are you going to come by and see your film? Uh, no, I can't. I can't make that. But um, but I'm just happy to be here tonight. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Well, great. stay tuned, Patricia, because we're going to do a Q. You all. Okay. All right. Hey, bye. Bye. Turn it back up when you turn it <laughs> up. Is, you know, Ellen can spend okay, her whole show with gonna this. Call? <laughs> who else her... is going to call? And this is great. So, so before, you are bringing us wonderful yes. luck. You good, know, the next good. caller is going to be someone going, you know what? I'm going to sponsor December, January, and, and February. February. All right. So I have if you call. do, I'll sing Christmas carols uh, all through December. <laughs> and she sings really well. Uh, so the thing is, uh, I think Where at were this we? point, wait, before, I think we need to show the video so people. You know what? Why don't we yes. do that? Okay, is that yes. okay? Sure. Now, which the, video are we going to show we're first? Gonna show the, uh, the, we're going to show uh, Walking the Camino yes. video, Six Ways to Santiago. It's about three minutes, but it's beautiful. Mm. For those of you who aren't uh, watching, it's still beautiful, and you'll get the idea of it. And Annie is the one that talks about traveling very lightly. So it's three <laughs> minutes. So if you are just listening, you'll hear it. And if you are watching, you'll see it. And there you go. Go for it, Kurt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
En los albergues grandes siempre tocan. Siempre, siempre. Era algo así como... Después, 20 segundos. Decías, bien, ahora. A los 20 segundos. Y volvías a dormir. Y después era, así fue toda la noche. Toda la noche. When I first started, I was just walking and people said to me, you will find the answer. And then I realized that I didn't have the question. Pourquoi tu fais le chemin avec maman? Parce que bébé. Parce qu'on n'a pas le choix. Parce qu'on n'a pas le choix. I'm going to Saint Jacques since I believe in God. It's just been thrilling a walk. I think of it as walking in a postcard. You know, you're just walking in such beauty. This is a very simple existence, and it's a very addictive kind of existence. You get up in the morning, you put everything you own into one bag, and you walk. So I think I'm going to get rid of more stuff. Get rid of my sleeping bag. Get rid of <laughs> anything except my toothbrush and all the clothes that I'm wearing. Now watch. Next up, it'll be... Now I'm doing the Camino nude. <laughs> Well, Do I you? smell. Well, you're German. <laughs> no, that's not the reason. Uh, Easy or hard? Uh, we should go with the higher difficulty. Right. Let's do that. It's not what I wanted, you know. I was going away from home without a cell phone, without anything, just going to be on my own. Now I'm hanging out with a guy every day. <laughs> but would never be like boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> no, I'm like 10 years older than he is. Revolution, Czech Guevara! Czech Guevara! He's here to make party and I'm not. <laughs> and I say to him, if you do it again, we are not working together. At the beginning of the Camino, I was in trouble because of my ankle and I was limping a lot, but this was a whole other level. I mean, there were quite a few times that um, tears were coming to my eyes. I'm just wrecked here. My knees are just turning so much. I just feel so scared that I'm going to have to stop. I don't want to stop. You just follow the path, and whatever comes up is, is what is there. Wow! We're back. I hope you all enjoyed that clip. So while, while you were all watching, we were chatting about Patricia, who just called in, and the power of of funding and sponsorship which of course we need for the show but you said you were turned down by yeah. you know we we came back from Spain and um, I, I don't want to give away any of the storyline or anything okay. but we have really extraordinary storylines in this film they they just appeared you know they just it was incredible and we really Lydia had over 300 hours of footage and we just thought, man, we're going to make the greatest film. Everybody's going to love this. And we got turned down by all of the conventional funding places that we tried to get money from. And it was just crazy because we knew that this was going to be a fantastic film. But a lot of places they said, well, you know, you're too Catholic. And Lydia never set out to make a Catholic film. And I don't think this is a Catholic film. But that, that's what the, some of the feedback was. So we said, well, let's surrender. Let's go to the Catholics. <laughs> so let's go see if we can get money from the Catholics. And we tried to get money from the Catholics, and they said, you're not Catholic enough. <laughs> and so... Don't get me started. So it really, you know, it was one of these things where, okay, we, we tried here, no. We tried there, no. We, we Everywhere was a no. So what do we do? And 
you know, what do you do when you're on the Camino? You turn to other pilgrims. Mm. And that's what happened. Wow. We turned to other pilgrims, and pilgrims supported this film. Yeah. A lot of them are close friends or, you know. Oh, um, I have chills about that. Yeah, of, of, of Lydia's. And, and, you know, we went to our friends, we went to our family members, and Lydia went to her um, alumni group from where she went to school. And little by little, just inch by inch, step by step, and some were very small donations of a dollar, ten dollars, eleven dollars, and there was a very large donation of fifty thousand dollars. So there was everything in between, and every one of those was a step closer. So Patricia made this film. You know, that's how I see it. That's she. This is her film, because we couldn't have done it without her. Mm. Oh, so okay. How many pilgrims did it take? About well, how many people donated to this film? Oh, my gosh. Well, our credits last four minutes. Wow. <laughs> Get out of town. Wow. Did you put them at the beginning of the film? <laughs> no. <laughs> like no. they did in the old days? <laughs> no, the, the credits run at the end, and it's four minutes of just the most beautiful. I, I do a lot of Q&As. I've been doing Q&As all across the country in Canada. And it's I love the film. But sometimes I think I love just watching the credits yeah. the Aww. best because it's just – one name after another after another and it's it's it just gives me a lump in my throat because those are people who just said we we like what you're doing do it do it get it done so here i have a question for you two questions actually yeah. so since you do a lot of q and a's what question have you never been asked that you wish somebody asked you on a q and a this is my <laughs> way of turning the interview around and seeming brilliant <laughs> what question do i wish um, are, are, are you pretty much cover everything in all your Q&As? Oh, the Q&As are great. People ask just or the most Or what has wonderful. surprised you? The, like, what's a question that really surprised you that might have given you oh. some great insight into what you were doing? Because a lot of times you don't even realize what you're doing, and someone asks you a question, and it, it takes you deeper into the journey that you're on. Well... Uh, one question that surprised me, but I'm not sure it took me any deeper, was um, there was a gentleman who asked, um, and actually he phrased it, this isn't really a question, it's a comment, so maybe this isn't oh, okay. answering That's fine. your question. But he said, this is one of the great Christian pilgrimages of all times, how come you don't use the word Jesus? And that was the first time I had thought ever about thought about I, if yeah. Jesus this is actually was the in first it. time I've ever thought about it never I never thought Jesus and the Camino yeah ever right till this and, moment and he he said he, and he also he said something I can't remember it exactly but he said you only say the word God three times or something like that he had counted I had never counted I don't think Lydia's ever counted or Beth Siegel our editor and there certainly isn't you know some cutting room floor where everybody was talking about Jesus and we took it right. out it's sure not that but it just, it was interesting. And and then very interesting, the next person who um, said something at that particular Q&A said, well, I got to tell you, I'm Jewish, and I'm really glad that there wasn't a whole lot of mention of Jesus and God, because it might have made me feel uncomfortable. And all of this, I, I, none of that was really intentional. The, the film was created and was kind of brought to us by the Camino. Then it was the artistry of well, of course, Lydia B. Smith is an incredible visionary, but Beth Siegel, the editor who found the stories in it, you know, who brought the stories forth. So it, um, I, you know, there's just so many great questions. I'm really glad that you brought that up, though, because I don't think either of us would have thought to even ask that about. Well, people, I, I think sometimes people do get the idea of spiritual, and it depends upon what their idea is. And it's true. And this is a spiritual journey. And you yes. really, and the talking about the spiritual journey, I think it's, I'd like to bring up your book because it is a spiritual you. journey. And I have, I, I'm not nice if I brought it up the right way. But anyway, <laughs> so uh, your book, what I love about your book is when you said that people that can't necessarily, for whatever reason, walk the Camino, they're walking it as they know people are walking it by reading every day what they're reading on the path. Yeah. So I love this. Like you said, one church. Yeah. Tell about that. Yeah, this one church, a beautiful church in Chicago, St. Teresa of Avila, their priest took some of their parishioners on the Camino, but not everyone could go. So they purchased a um, hundred books. One of their parishioners gifted a hundred books to them. And so the the parishioners could be reading along with Father Frank 
and the parishioners he was taking in France. And right now I'm reading along with Esther, Esther Hobbs, who yes. was our amazing volunteer who drove the Camino Mobile. We literally are distributing this ourselves. And part of that means that we have an RV that we've been driving across the country. Lydia Smith started in Portland, drove down to San Diego, then drove all the way across the country up to Vermont. I joined in Vermont and she took a break, a much needed break. I'm sure. And I went through Canada and then down through Pittsburgh and Buffalo and uh, Columbus, Ohio, and back to Chicago. And um, I wish we had a picture of what the Camino Mobile oh, looks I've like. Oh, I've got one on my phone. I'll Darn. have to put it up on your um, yeah. site afterwards. So at each city you have screenings. Yes, and um, the reason is is because um, for us, to, it's very difficult for us to get press. We, yes. we don't have big stars and right. stuff. We have right. just amazing people. Right. And the best way that we can get press is if a filmmaker is at one of the screenings, we have a much better chance sure. of the local paper writing something about it. So that's why so you're we, going. Yeah, yes. so we escort the film. So the, Esther yes. Hobbs drove the Camino Mobile over 1,800 miles this, this summer when we were on tour. And she went back to her home in Northern California, and she said to her husband, we're going. Wow. We're going. Fun. And she's in Spain now. And all of us who love her from Northern California up to people in Canada, we're all reading along with her each day. And I, I mean, when I got back from the Camino, people would say, how was your Camino? And it just really struck me. It was the wrong tense that nothing had ended. My oh. Camino wasn't over. My Camino continued that there really wasn't an ending. So that's partly what this this came out of but wasn't it like I believe that you said something which I thought was so and uh, just it, I just felt like wow that's just a little treasure one of the many treasure treasures that you shared you said you were, you didn't intend to write this kind of a book <laughs> can you tell about how this came about that what your intention was was yeah well when I got back I I'm I love to write so I was writing in my journal the entire time I was there and I really wanted to write a book. I also, I love languages. I speak a couple languages. I find languages fascinating. So I, and one of my Camino family members, you know, the people that I met along the Camino, we, I call them my Camino family. She is from Romania and she started speaking foreign languages at, in second grade. That's when she started to learn English. And she went to university in French and, you know, we just, have this love of languages that was one of the th many things we shared and I wanted to write a book about my experiences walking the Camino but really having this thread of languages oh. like what a word in oh. English was what it is in Spanish because oh, people what come from all Italian. over the world yeah oh. what it is in French and I just find I personally find that fascinating so I came back and started writing that book and it was it was like you know how when you push on the door and it's you're supposed to pull it and, and like you're pushing and you're like, well, this is supposed to work and it doesn't. And it felt like that. So I just surrendered. I was like, OK, I, I'm writing something. W what is it supposed to be? And this idea of having the Camino stay alive every day, that came through. Well, OK, so we have 11 minutes left for our show and so much to cover i mean How can you believe happen? it goes yes. that fast <laughs> i know right so a couple things we want to cover because we still want to get to something else that's pretty cool yes. but um we want to do our fun little part of the show yeah let's and do so that. our fun part of the show first of all is um okay listeners um okay i don't have the phone number in front of me you have to put up the mouse pad okay so here's our call in part of the show thank you kurt for my visual aid get your pens out and write down three two three 843-2826. That's 323-843-2826. Okay. And so um, if you call in and you get the right answer, and you know us, even if you answer it wrong, there's a chance you're going to get it. Um, you're going to get uh, the, the uh, CD and the book, and we'll send it to you. You might not get it on time because that's my job, and sometimes I'm a little lame about that. And what's the question? But what's the question? Well... I think the question might be, um, well, you can guide me as to what the best question would be. So two pop in Something that they might be able to Google or that you've already talked about during the show, that there's a definitive oh. answer that you know the answer to. Oh, I was going to say, who was the first phone caller 
or who was the second phone caller and why oh, was great. she important? Oh, that's great. Oh, I love okay. that. I love that. Um, which I means she that. can't call in. <laughs> <laughs> or you could call in and tell us why we why you think you're important, uh, yes, which would be great. Or yes. we'll tell you why you're we'll important. You. Okay, so so get ready and call in. And uh, so that's the question. Yes. Who was the second caller and why was she important? I that think that's an so awesome great. question. I love okay. that. that. All right. So, so now we have the, another fun part is while we wait for all these people to call in <laughs> and know the answer and get ready to win the prize, we ask our guests that every time, if every time you walked into a room, a theme song played, what would that be? And what was your theme song? My theme song? Well, I know absolutely it has to be something from Bruce Springsteen. Right. And it's Born to Run. Woo-hoo! So many, so oh, so we got many a concerts. Okay, we, I know. It was my very first concert. It was Bruce. Oh. Very first concert, first true love. So he took me was, to Bruce. That was the, the song that he originally wrote for the Camino. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He was Okay, who's on the phone? Hi, this is Annabeth and <gasps> Becky Rickley. Oh Annabeth Hi, and Becky. Hi, Annabeth. Wonderful. Hi, Becky. All right, I'm so glad you're listening in. So yeah. do you have an answer to the questione? Well, the second caller was Patricia, ah. and she walked the Camino. And yes. that's my answer. Okay, that is close enough. <laughs> Yay! So you are gonna, I'm going to give these to you, which is so great, because I know I'll <laughs> see you on Sunday, so we'll, there will be no delay. So thank you. Annabeth, did you have a question for Annie at all? And then we're going to continue the answer to that question. But did you, did you have... <laughs> Did you have? Well, I was more? curious how um, how physical challenges showed up in her walk and how she moved through physical challenges. A lot is written in here about that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot in the book about that. And interestingly, oh, interestingly enough, a lot I I got a lot of support from the songs. Oh, sure. Um, I'm a member of the Agape Choir. And so I know these songs very well. And actually, nine of these songs are from the Agape Choir. And the tenth song is a song that I learned on the Camino. Oh. And it's a song oh, wow. that's kind of the Camino song. And it's in French. It's, it's called Tous les Matins. And um, so I recorded it with Arne Batson, the great Arne Batson. And um, so that's on here. But, you know, I I got so much solace from those songs. Those songs helped me through in so many ways that I I was very lucky that Ricky Byers Beckwith, who is one of the authors of those songs, along with Michael Beckwith, um, when I approached her with this project, I said, you know, I, I quote your songs in my book, and I wonder if I could include a CD. And we worked it out, and she said yes. And so the CD comes with the book? Yeah, well, it it's will for our it friend. It will for, it, it's separate, but it will <laughs> for <laughs> Anna Beth and Becky. Okay. Right. That's great. I love Ricky BB. Oh, she's so wonderful. And wonderful. The, the music is so powerful. And I, I, mm-hmm. I mean, it it might seem frivolous, but it's so, it was so important to my journey. And I can remember walking in um, Porto Marin. There's a very long bridge, and I am not a fan of heights. And I just sang Use Me three times oh, <laughs> to get over oh, wow. that song. Who does not bridge? love that song? Yeah. And when I listen so, to so. it on the CD, I have to do the... Yeah, Everyone the does. two claps, yeah. yeah. We all do it, so... But, you Annabeth, know, and there is a longer answer to that, but... Um, and I, I, I'm going to be doing Q&As at the film, Perfect. so I hope you can come and... Um, I, I often talk about it there because it really... The physical challenges were really excruciating for me and it really sure. involved giving up in order to be able to finish so that's the short answer thanks Anna <laughs> wonderful Annabeth and thank you guys thank you. all right Great show. I'll see you bye. Sunday bye-bye. okay bye bye so you know all right so we've got five minutes left for our show and I know you want to talk about Phil's Camino oh well, so what do we want to do do we want to play that video well, do you want to talk about it? What would you, how would you like to spend the rest of our time together, oh, or do you want so to come back and visit us again? I'd love to come back and visit you again, but how about if I just kind of talk a little bit about Phil's Camino? Yes. Because that's, um, you know, one of the things that... Kind Are of, we able to go over for like two or three minutes? 
Or will we get fired? Okay. <laughs> Bill Scalino, well, explain it's a movie. Yeah, it's a documentary. One of the effects, I think, of walking the Camino for me has been um, I've become more myself, and I've become much more creative. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't have whatever it was that was stopping me before has, is gone. And I have become so creative. I've written a book. I'm halfway through my other book that I thought was going to be my first book, but now is my second book. And I came upon the most incredible man. I was contacted after a screening in um, Seattle by a woman who said, um, she Facebooked me and she said, my husband and I saw your film and we absolutely loved it. And uh, which which clip do you have queued up? We have the most recent one, not the one where he's singing, but the one where he talks about the difference between being healed and oh, caring. Okay, then I'll tell the little. So so he, he, uh, Rebecca said, my husband Phil absolutely loved you. Got the bonus DVD and he's watching it all the time. He has stage four cancer and he's always dream. You know, this is his dream is to walk. So um, Phil then. So I said we have to be friends and then. Phil wrote to me via Rebecca's email, and um, it was the most incredible email I've ever gotten in my life. Oh. And he said, I don't know what Rebecca has told you, but um, I have created a, a Camino in my backyard so that I can walk. And each day I walk and I keep track on a map of Spain of where I am. And right now I'm just about outside Burgos. Isn't that incredible? It makes me cry. Yeah, me too. And he said, at first I was trying to conquer the Camino, but now I'm just happy to be walking. Yeah. And he ended it with, come walk with me. Love, Phil. Oh, all right, we got to play this clip because we're <laughs> running out of time and I want to play this clip. Can you cue that up? And so just to let you know, this is beautiful scenery. Explain this. Yes. And so, you know, so it just happened that Phil continued to walk until he got to Santiago in his backyard. And after that, he got a clean scan and his doctor said <sighs> you don't have to come to chemo every two weeks now you can take one chemo holiday so now he had 28 days and we, he went to Spain and I had a film crew I'm producing this video this documentary now called Phil's Camino and I had a film we crew have over to there. play it and okay. we're, 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 and we have no time that, and for those who are just listening it's beautiful scenery beautiful great and you can camino. see it at philscamino.com okay. or indiegogo yes, phil's camino important. great you gotta go when you get cancer you um you're striving to be cured that's very important you're striving to be cured and that's what doctors do they 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 cure you but um, i've discovered that there's a difference between being cured and being healed so being cured is um is being uh, over your disease but in the case of cancer some of the treatment is so brutal that um, what good is it to be cured if you come out a basket case uh, so uh, to me right now at this point I'm, uh, I'm striving to be healed which means that you're reconciled with the bigger picture you're um, reconciled with God and, and, and family and all the important things. So whether you're cured or not is sort of secondary. If I come back to Seattle and I have my scan the next day, you know, and I'm, uh, there's nothing that shows up on my scan, and I'm, um, so I'm cured. So that would be good too. But it's, it's more important to me now to be healed than it is to be cured. Okay, so if somebody wanted to see Phil's Camino, where would they go? Well, they would be like Patricia, and they would decide they're going to donate to the. No, to but the, where would they? Where would they go for the website? Where could they go first? Phil'sCamino.com or Indiegogo, um, and then if you search Phil's Camino, we actually have another clip up there too with Phil, and so we have two clips: the one that you just heard and a second clip. And we have reached our original goal, but now we're stretching to start our editing goal. 
And so we're looking to make another $5,000 Yay! By Sunday. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if you donate, yeah. let the amazing hour know yes. because we'd yes. love to know that we're spreading good things yes. happening and we'd love to know that we have that effect on the on the yeah. show. And, and we, we I, gotta get out there and reach as many people as you can. Well, it's it's thank you guys so much for, for being here. You know where are you I, gonna where's the next screening of this? Where this, can people go to find out where the screenings well, are? Well, Camino Documentary org or Camino documentary org or the Facebook page is Camino documentary and we will be here in Los Angeles for one week starting on Friday so if you are not into the Halloween type festivities come and see our film October 31st through November 6th yeah and that's going to be where at the Lemley's Royale Theater it's on Santa Monica Boulevard right by the 405 and it's okay. a beautiful theater. I was there today. It's renovated. It's just beautiful. And Saturday, November 1st, is my book launch day. And then Sunday, we're having um, at the 725 show, is a. it's going to be a screening of the show and then a spiritual filmmakers panel, which is going to be really wonderful. The filmmaker of What the Bleep Do We Know? Oh. And yeah. of Finding Joe will be joining Whoa. Lydia Smith That's in a great. panel. Yeah, it's going to be Whoa. fantastic. We should go. Yeah. We're going to go. Yeah, We're yeah, going to yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing is, is even though it sounds strange, we often sell out. So we suggest to people that they get their tickets online so that you have your tickets. Doesn't sound strange to me. No, <laughs> doesn't sound strange to me at all. All right. So, so this is all great stuff. Sabrina. Yeah. Thank first of all, thank you. But thank we're going to come back and thank you. Okay. Who do we have next week? Next week we have on Mara Lee Taylor, who wrote and and, and created this wonderful program called Going Out, Going In, which is to uh, re- has lowered the recidivism. 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 <laughs> what does that word I, I, say? Recidivism. 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 Uh, I do know how to spell it. Right uh, <laughs> among, uh, especially geared towards young women who are incarcerated, so that they learn how to. Uh, be out in the world and be responsible and uh, confident in handling their emotions and feelings. And so she has this program that she's now developing for men, and she will be here next wow. week. So uh, uh, yes, it's it's the it's the real orange is the new black, and it is really cool. Yay! So, yeah, and it's really we can't uplifting. wait for next week. Yes, yes, wonderful. Um, okay, and um, again, sponsorship. We need it. <laughs> film needs it and and even if people give a dollar i mean imagine it just makes a difference so it does. everything know. makes a difference and it just it's it's a it's a it's beautiful then like patricia if she comes and sees the film she can see her name Yay! as the credits roll oh, and I it's be here in that it's, patricia it's really beautiful so okay so today is uh it's gratitude days and on gratitude days we like to, to we close out the show with something that we are grateful for so annie oh i'm so grateful to be here i'm so grateful for you to creating this space of positive and heartfelt wisdom and energy and laughter and it's a beautiful thing the world needs more of it so thank thank you you. all right i'm just grateful that annie reached out to us it was like (laughs) we literally had like one space open and we jo- did. And Joanne said, don't worry about it. And that's usually my thing. I said, but, but da, 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 and the corporate person to me. And she said, someone will come. Oh, my gosh. And it was right and before right our, our L.A. week. This yeah. is a big week for yes. us. This and is we had a no big clue. Of, it, it was just we didn't see the big picture. And it's still being revealed. So thank you. Oh. So we can't wait to see you all next week. Please follow us on Twitter. Please like us, The Amazing Hour Radio Show, on Facebook. Send us any emails that you would like to and (laughs) tell us stuff or make suggestions of someone that you think should be on the show. They do have to be local so that they can be on camera. And uh, we're just grateful to Kurt for for being here with us and and putting up with all of our last minute shenanigans. It's a good word, shenanigans. (laughs) Okay. Thank you, everyone. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. That I am amazing. Amazing.